New to Zoom and not sure how to use it? I'm Jessica, and this video is our Beginner's Guide to Zoom, where you'll learn all the basics of using the Zoom desktop app, including how to start a Zoom meeting, how to use Zoom chat, and more. Now let's get started. If you haven't installed the Zoom desktop app yet, you can download it for free at zoom.us slash download. If you don't have an account yet, check out this video to learn how to sign up. Let's have a look through the Zoom desktop app. In the Home tab, you'll see an overview of your meeting schedule for the day and shortcuts to start a new meeting, join a meeting, schedule a meeting, or share your screen. In the Calendar tab, you'll see your scheduled meetings for the work week. You can use the filters at the top to view specific types of events or look at other calendar views like just the day, the work week, the full week, or your agenda of upcoming events. You'll also be able to easily access your personal meeting ID in the bottom left corner to make it easy to send that information to your colleagues if you want to start a meeting. In the Team Chat tab, you can send messages to your contacts. Click the plus sign to start a new conversation. Then click Chat if you just want to have a quick conversation, or Channel if you're looking to create a permanent chat room for you and your colleagues. Then type in the names of the contacts you want to add to the chat or channel. If you're creating a channel, type in a channel name. You can choose to make the channel private so only those invited can join, or public so anyone in your organization can join. Then click Create Channel. From there you can easily send messages, emojis, share files, and screenshots. If you click your profile icon in the top right corner of the home page, you can easily set your availability status and access your settings. Use these to customize Zoom to your liking. You can easily configure your video and audio settings here, along with a number of other settings. If you go to the Profile section and click Edit My Profile, you'll be taken to the Zoom website, where you can edit your profile details and integrate your Google, Outlook, or Exchange account to link your calendar and contacts to Zoom. Now that we've walked through the basics of the desktop client, let's get into how Zoom calls work. There are a few different ways you might start or join a call. The first way is to start a new call in your personal meeting room by clicking New Meeting. Another method is to join someone else's meeting by using the Join feature. Click Join, then type in the ID or link for the meeting you want to join. Decide if you want your audio or video to be off, then click Join. The third way is joining a pre-scheduled meeting. Go to your Calendar tab, then click either Start or Join beside the meeting you want to join. You'll only see the Start option if you're the host of a meeting. Once you're in a Zoom call, you'll see a menu of tools you can use at the bottom. Using the controls at the bottom of the window, you can mute or unmute your microphone and turn your video on or off. You can see a list of who's in a meeting by clicking Participants at the bottom. You'll find the Invite button in the Participants window as well. Click on the contacts you want to invite, or copy the Invite link to send in an IM. You can also view the chat within this meeting by clicking Chat. The chat feature is a great way to ask questions or add comments without interrupting whoever is speaking or presenting during your meeting. You can also share files and links here. Use the React tool to put a temporary emoji reaction beside your name, or raise your hand if you have something you want to say. If you want to share a presentation or do a training session, you can share your screen by clicking Share. Select which screen or window you want to present to your meeting group, or use the whiteboard option if you want to draw something out. 
If you want your colleagues to be able to hear something playing on your computer, like a video, make sure you check off the Share Computer Sound box. Then click Share. While screen sharing, you can use the Annotate function to highlight your mouse, draw on your screen, highlight important things, and more. Use the Screen Sharing menu to pause or stop screen sharing. If you click More at the bottom, you'll find additional tools to share docs, notes, and whiteboards. If you want to record a meeting to keep a copy of it for later reference, click Record. The recording will be accessible in your Meetings tab once you end the meeting. When you're done with a meeting, you can leave the meeting or end it all together if you're the host by clicking either Leave Meeting or End Meeting in the bottom right corner of the window. The button text will vary depending on if you're the host or not. You can end the meeting for everyone if you're the host, or just leave the meeting. That does it for our beginner's guide to Zoom. If you'd like to try Zoom on a mobile device, check out our video on how to download the Zoom mobile app next. Click the video on your screen now to watch. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, we'd love it if you'd hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to our channel. We put out great new tech tutorials like this one every day.